Greetings from the black holes of Dakota Toritary, the United States of Amateur Radio, and related subjects. <laughs> I uh, got an interesting email from um, a viewer who says he just recently stumbled upon my videos and find them immensely entertaining and educational. Well, I, educational at least. Entertaining anybody's guess. But his question basically involved the susceptibility of automotive electronics to electromagnetic pulses. How true is it really that a car could be disabled by an electromagnetic pulse, such as from a, a coronal mass ejection of the sun, a nearby lightning strike, particularly a superbolt, or other human-made causes that don't need really to be mentioned. Uh, <clears throat> and my answer, I don't have a clue. And the research that I did on the internet leads me to believe that nobody else really knows either. All I found was a bunch of speculative talk that this or that might be true uh, and this or that might be true. So my recommendations or recommendation is very simple. Experiment, test it, find out, test different cars with manufactured electromagnetic pulses similar to those we would expect from the aforementioned events and find out how susceptible they really are. Um, I am positive that some cars and trucks will be more susceptible than others. The ones with, uh, the newer ones with plastic bodies, besides being less safe for the occupants, in my opinion, are probably more susceptible. But I don't know that. It depends on the design of the vehicle and the extent to which the vehicle manufacturer has paid to protecting the automotive electronics against this. Um, we've all seen, you know, videos or movies of some kind of event like an upper atmospheric nuclear weapon explosion creating electromagnetic pulses, which would, it all the cars stopped. That was the first thing that happened. But would they? Would they really? And again, the answer is, I don't know. We must experiment to find out. Remember, as my physics advisor told me way back in 1974, one experimentalist can keep a dozen theorists busy. And in this case, I might say a million theorists, because that seems to be all there is besides propaganda about this subject on the internet. So let's find out. I think some car manufacturers are afraid to do these tests. Mm, don't be. Do them. The ones who do them and show that their vehicles are, in fact, not susceptible will have a trump card that everybody else will have to develop as well. That's my answer, my friend. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Until next time, so long.